ruler of the wicked. Go to a place where you have experienced an evil, one unlike any a soul fortunate enough to have lived a life so pure could dream of. If you have experienced no such wickedness, turn back, for you are ill prepared for the task that lies ahead of you. Arrive shortly after dusk. Upon the eleventh hour, prick your thumb with a needle and draw the sign of the cross on your forehead in blood. Confess your sins to God, to the devil, and to the holder of the wicked. If you are lucky, God will ignore you. Get up, go home, utter a prayer of thanks, and get some sleep. If you are none so fortunate, then you may find yourself in audience with Satan himself, and after such a warm invitation, he would not let you walk away free. If your fate is even more cruel and your sins are heavy, you have succeeded in contacting the one you seek, and he will take you from this world. If this is the case, you will awaken in a bed that is not your own, in a house that is not your own, in a world that belongs to him. You will be unaware of this, however, for the setting of your ghastly performance is identical to your regular dwelling, and your memories of the day you decided to embark on this trial will be stripped from you. It is for this reason you must keep these instructions on your person, or you will fail. You will go about your normal life until you leave your house for the first time. Upon your return, you will witness those you hate more than any other committing horrendous acts, torturing, raping, and eventually brutally murdering those you care about the most. You will be paralyzed and helpless, yet condemned to watch. If your mind cannot take it, you may find it has shut your body down and ended your life. Be thankful. As they deface and befoul their bloody, filthy corpses, drenched in only the foulest of substances, and merrily sing ill of your dearest departed, you will suddenly feel your own paralysis lift, and it will be they who can no longer move. The holder will now enter the room, wearing the face of an authoritarian figure with whom you are familiar, and instruct you to punish these demons. If you have not read these instructions since your awakening, you are certain to oblige, and you and the people who you are forced to watch suffer, will suffer once again for all the sinners of today. You will join them as the price for your hypocrisy. Instead, you must kneel, bow your head, and speak these words. I may not judge, for I too am damned. I seek repentance. Allow him to consider for a while, but do not speak. If he remains silent for more than a minute, then your life is over. It is only a matter of time before you break, for you cannot bear the silence any longer, and his patience will shatter with the serenity. If, however, he nods, you will be returned home to repeat the unspeakable atrocities performed on your loved ones yourself. Afterwards, remove their eyeballs and crush them in your fist. Their suffering was object 564 of 2538. As long as you possess their eyes, you will feel no guilt and evade punishment for your sins.